Fusion isn't perfect. There, I said it. Don't get mad at me or at Blackmagic Design. And just because something isn't perfect and has some big issues, that doesn't mean you should immediately jump ship. Fusion as a whole is an extremely powerful and versatile program. You can do so much with the features built in, and it's crazy to think that it's one page of a video editing program that is free to use and the paid version is really affordable. In this video, I want to talk about some of the issues and missing features that I run into in my projects, and what I hear from the community when they're editing. With Resolve 19 right around the corner, the hope is that a lot of these will see the light of day, or in Resolve 20 depending on how the timeline works out. I've even made some feature mockups to help illustrate some of the ideas I have. But one thing that I need from you, I want you to comment your top three features that you want to see in Fusion. These can be from my list that I showed today or to something that you want to see. I also want to preface this and say I don't want to see any hate towards the development team. They work really hard on this program and offer it for free. This video is meant to contain constructive criticism that will benefit the program in the future, not to tear it down. So starting this off, I want to see a revamp follower system for the text node. I do love how it's set up so it defaults to the normal text controls until you had in a keyframe. Some people find this annoying, and I get that. But I love the idea of using some of the controls in the follower and some of the controls in the text node, and I think the system that I have right now is really good for that. But as far as the new features go, please give us control over the follower type, from character by character to word by word and line by line. This would be a massive addition to the program and unlock so many new possibilities. Also, when editing this video, I found a spot on Blackmagic's website saying that the follower modifier can do line by line, word by word, or character by character animations. This is not possible without a ton of manual effort, so I don't know why this says that. It would also be great to see better continuity between the text controls and the follower controls, like adding a center X and Y control to the follower. I have no clue why it isn't there, because you can get basically the same effect using the offset X and Y controls, but it's a lot harder to do. If they add that to the follower, I also want to see it in character level styling. The next set of features, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, but I do have some basic ideas. I want to see an improved vector system inside of Fusion. This is mainly targeted at motion graphics work, but having a non-destructive vector workflow allows for a lot greater control and flexibility when animating. Blackmagic has already taken some steps towards this with the introduction of the shape system in Resolve 17, but three years later it still feels a little bit lacking and incomplete to me. There's basic stuff like the on-screen controls not working, the lack of a link X and Y size in the shape transform nodes, like there is in a normal transform node, the coordinate system is different in the shape nodes, and more advanced stuff like the lack of a gradient option. Nodes like shape duplicate are lacking in features compared to its counterpart in the normal duplicate node, most notably a time offset. None of the shape tools have a soft edge like you would find in the normal text nodes. Thankfully they added a S-Polygon node, but you can still only import SVGs to the mask system. It's also annoying to use any modifiers with the shapes, since you have to add an S-Render to use something like a drop shadow, and at that point the shape has now lost its vector qualities. I'm not sure how many modifier nodes could work in the shape system, but I know vector programs like Adobe Illustrator and Affinity Designer have drop shadows and other filters, so I'd imagine something's possible. Now that's a lot of problems. Here's an idea that I have for a solution. Not sure if it's the best or if it's possible, but it's at least a start. What if modifier nodes were more interchangeable? So one transform for both images and shapes, one duplicate for both images and shapes, and one drop shadow for both images and shapes. You get the idea. The system can still have their core nodes like the shape nodes, the shape modifiers, and then an S render to convert it all back to pixels at the end. All that makes total sense. But being able to use the same transform node animating an image as you would to animate a shape would be awesome. Even if it's not the same node, having greater continuity between them would be great. As far as importing SVG files, that has always been clunky, even if it were to import directly to the shape system instead of a polygon. Certain SVG files have hundreds if not thousands of polygons, which quickly wrecks your node graph and makes it impossible to organize. Instead, what if there was an SVG node that lives inside the shape system? Something that could import SVG files, Illustrator, or Photoshop files, and has a similar UI to the multi-merge node. The layer list would look just like an Adobe Illustrator layer, with groups and all the polygons sorted out. You could click on them to pull up the on-screen controls and all of the other stuff down below, like the color, border, and even add filters like a drop shadow or a blur. Everything could be done in this one node, but it would also have the option to export layers, so that way you could select all the background elements and export those to a different node. And maybe even have an option to export individual polygons, so it would export those out to separate nodes where you could see each one of the modifiers that you added on and then it gets converted back into pixels. I'm not 100% sure on the logistics, but if it could be worked out, it would be revolutionary. Let me know your thoughts or suggestions in the comments down below. The two other things I have for the vector system. Like I said, I want more tools to work with vector and the shape system. So having an S text node or just allowing the text node to plug into the existing shape system would be awesome. And last, having more control over lines for both polygons and outlines. Stuff like being able to taper off one end, measure the distance between the line, and easily create dashed lines. I have a video with a workaround to that last one using the text node. All right, a big one that every Everyone saw it coming faster performance. I don't care what you're doing inside of Fusion, motion graphics, visual effects, or just using Fusion presets that you bought online. 
they can be really slow. Then try turning motion blur on. I run a website where I create edit page fusion templates. Fusion's performance really holds back some of the stuff I'm able to do and results in slower performance. Now, shameless plug here, I have spent months optimizing my tools, and I'm always looking for ways to make them faster. Even tools that run a little bit slow, they still save you a ton of time compared to building the effect from scratch and still having to render it in the end. If you're interested in learning more about those, check out the link down below. Video editing and compositing is really processor intensive. I totally understand that we're not going to have real-time playback on advanced effects, and I'm not an expert of software development and optimization. But when I see other programs like like Blender and Unreal Engine running 3D scenes in real time, or close to real time, I have a feeling that Fusion can render text in a few shapes a little bit faster. Maybe there's something I'm missing on that. If someone knows the reason, please let me know. Regardless, everyone is going to love some performance upgrades if we get those. If I had to sum up some of the main things that I wanted to see, those would be it. Most of them are on the motion graphics side of Fusion, and I know there's lots of visual effects features that people want as well. Please let me know everything that you want to see down in the comments below. Again, this video is meant to be constructive. I have pointed out a lot of criticisms I have about this program. With all all that being said, I still believe that Fusion is a great program and can fully replace After Effects for a lot of people. I love the Fusion page and really want to see it excel in the coming years. The Node system has so much potential. If you want to learn more about some of the things I talked about today, check out my playlist on Fusion Motion Graphics and Visual Effects. I'll see you there in a few seconds.